Kokradan is one of the most beautiful islands in Thailand. The water here is stunning. Snorkeling around the island is fantastic and the beach is absolute perfection. Soft white sand and aquamarine blues. Let's go visit this gorgeous island together. Kokradan is a tiny island in the Andaman Sea off the west coast of Thailand. This gem of an island is part of the Hat Chao Mai National Park. There are no roads here, no village, no ATMs, no stores, no medical clinic, and no public electricity. There are only a few hotels running on generators. Even though it's only three kilometers long, this narrow island has a lot of character. There's a deep jungle engulfing most of the land. There are soft sandy beaches and a beautiful underwater world. A variety of colorful fishes inhabit the shallow water corals. Kokradan has one main beach. It's a long and narrow stretch on the east side of the island. This is where most hotels on the island are located. The very north end of the beach is rocky and has mangrove vegetation. As soon as the beach ends, the jungle begins. The north end of the beach makes for a lovely morning walk. Kradan's main beach is a very long stretch of sand. It will take you a good 30 to 40 minutes to walk end to end. On the south end of the beach is where the National Park Ranger Station is situated. The beach here is dotted with beautiful old trees that have fallen down towards the sea. Did I mention that Kokradan doesn't have any sandflies? This may be the only Thai island without sandflies. The beach here is absolute perfection. The best spot to snorkel on Kokradan is the coral reef in front of Reef Resort. The one-day excursion boats all stop here and let people snorkel in the spot. You can either swim until you reach the deeper water, or you can borrow a kayak from your resort, paddle out there and tie your kayak to the boat line. I will recommend getting out there at lower tide, so you're snorkeling a little bit closer to the reef. Just please make sure not to touch anything or break any coral. You can expect to see lots of colorful tropical fish. There are lots of clownfish or nemos. Some of the coral is dead, but some is alive and it's beautiful. We saw squid. It was changing colors as it moved through the different backgrounds. We saw shrimp fish. Those are funny little fishes that swim vertically. They are very bizarre and cute. We even saw a lionfish. The visibility of the water that day was not great, but that blotchy spot in the water is a lionfish. There's another great snorkeling spot on the south side of the island in front of the Aonyang Resort. The best way to get there is to kayak from the main beach, go past the National Park's office, and then tie your kayak to the boat line. Starting at the north end of the main beach, it took us around 20 minutes to kayak to Aonyang. It was a bit tiring, but it was worth it. There is a path through the jungle that gets to Aonyang Resort, but swimming from the beach to the coral reef might be too far. This reef has beautiful corals and bigger fish, You can snorkel in the shallows or follow the deeper reef. There are lots of surgeon major fishes, Moorish idol and butterfly fish. 
Sunset happens on this side of the island. There is a small beach here. You can get there by following a trail through the jungle. It's a beautiful walk. Just listen to the sounds of the forest. It's fascinating. It will take you a good 20 minutes to surface on the west side of Kokradan. Even though lots of garbage has accumulated here with the tides, Sunset Beach is very charming. You can jump in the water for a swim, or just wait for the sunset. Going back through the jungle at night can be a bit tricky, as it gets pitch dark very fast. So carry a small light with you or your phone, and don't get off the path. There are snakes around. At night, the starry skies are beautiful. When you take a night stroll, be careful not to step on one of those giant hermit crabs. They all have different shells and personalities. You will see them walking about after sunset. Seems like they drag whatever shell they can find to hide under. We saw some highly inappropriate ones that made us laugh. Where to stay? There are only eight hotels on the island. All of them are built on the main beach, except for Aonyang. The hotels on Kredan are really expensive. This is because they have to generate their own electricity 24-7. Each hotel relies on a generator run by diesel, and diesel is expensive in Thailand. Also, anything the hotels provide comes from mainland and is carried by hand on long-tail boats. That's expensive too. The nicest hotel on the island is Mali Resort. Their beachfront villas look gorgeous and are brand new. If you're looking for a cheaper option, there's also the eco-friendly Calume, run by an Italian couple. They have great pizza here. We were astounded to find real mozzarella cheese and salami on this small island. Further down the beach, there are also the Seven Seas and Cardan Beach Resort. I stayed at Reef Resort and absolutely recommend it. Reef Resort was the very first hotel constructed on the island and has the best beachfront. The most beautiful part of the reef is in front of the resort. All the day tourists stop here for snorkeling. Reef Resort is run by Genta. 80% of customers here are returning customers. When you meet Genta and her team, you will know why. Does anyone recognize their driftwood sign? It's still here, waiting for you to come back. The hotel rooms on the island tend to fill up very quickly during high season, so reserve well in advance. By the way, the national park allows camping on the south side of the island. Because Kredan is a very expensive island, most people come here on a day trip. You can easily stay on the nearby Komuk and enjoy Kokradan on a snorkeling trip. But if you have the budget to stay here, I would highly recommend enjoying this island for a couple of days. After traveling in Thailand for a year, this is one of the best beaches we have experienced. Kokradan is subject to the same monsoon as the rest of Thailand's southwest coast. The rainy season runs from May to October. Only a few hotels stay open. You can still travel to the island and enjoy it empty. High season is from November to April, with January and February in particular being very busy and expensive. How to get here? There are many transfer options to the islands. We traveled during Covid and most ferries were closed. So we hired a private long-tail boat to get us there. For detailed travel information, have a look in the description of this video. To me, Kokradan has one of the most beautiful beaches in Thailand. The aquamarine color of the water is mesmerizing. The soft white sand and colorful underwater world makes for a breathtaking holiday. I highly recommend adding Kukradan to your travel list. If you have been to Kukradan and have tips or impressions to share, please list them in the comments below this video. Thanks for watching!